I'm not willing to rely on Etsy for the success of my business. Over the last few months, we've been selling these two lanterns in our Etsy shop, and we got totally different results from them. So I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the results and why one of these sold so much better than the other. So first, let's take a look at these products. They're only different in one way. One has these falling leaves, that was our fall lantern, and the other one has snowflakes, which was our winter slash Christmas lantern. We made these lanterns the same exact way. They are both made out of a veneered MDF. They're both the same exact dimensions. They're eight by four by four, and they, they both come with the same LED lights in them. We offered two options for each lantern. We offered them unassembled where we would package up all the parts that you needed, send them to you, and you can assemble them yourself. And we offered an assembled version. We sold the unassembled ones for $23 and we sold the assembled ones for $30, both with free shipping. Before we go any further, I wanna tell you about my Etsy sales strategy. It's a little bit different and I've talked about it in other videos, but just to recap, I use Etsy seasonally. I don't have items in my shop year round. I wanna make seasonal items and sell them when people are looking for them. So for example, my fall lantern was released in the fall and my winter lantern was released in the winter. And so that way I know people are actively looking for these things this time of year, rather than just putting them up there in the shop and year round and hoping people buy my items there are a lot of people that have successful Etsy shops where that is their full-time business. But for me personally, I'm not interested in running a Etsy shop year-round full-time. But I do see value in leveraging Etsy's audience and traffic during these seasonal times of the year. So let's dive into the sales of each one of these lanterns individually. Let's start with the Leaves Lantern. I listed them on September 20th. I sold one lantern in September. I sold 21 of them in October and I sold 65 of them in November. For the snowflakes, I listed them on November 22nd, kind of in response of the leaves doing well. I used all the same exact information, profile, advertising, which we'll talk a little bit here in a second, but I used all the same information and I figured that would translate to the snowflakes. Listed them on November 22nd and I have sold a total of five of them. Three of them were in the same order. So remember, these are just Etsy sale numbers. This doesn't include my website. This doesn't include uh, word, word of mouth, in-person sales. This is just comparing Etsy sales between these two products. So with all that information, why the different results? Although I'm not exactly sure why the different results, I've got five things that I believe contributed or five things that are five things that I know of that contribute to sales on Etsy. But this is definitely more of an exploratory, more of an ideas because I really don't know why the stark contrast between the two. All right, so number one, let's start with the difference between them. Leaves versus snowflakes. The only thing I can think of here is people like leaves more than snowflakes or maybe the leaves are more unique than the snowflakes. In our design, we intentionally did not mask the leaves. We wanted the burn on the outside of the leaf to kind of give a fall feel, leaves changing colors. Now we intentionally masked off our snowflakes, which is a little more labor intensive, but we wanted a nice clean laser cut to where it looked nice and crisp. So maybe people prefer the burned look a little bit more. I don't know if that would have made a difference in the snowflakes if we would have done that. That just doesn't add up in my brain. One possibility, it could be that the market is so saturated with Christmas decor that the lantern didn't seem as unique in the Christmas decor category because there's so much Christmas decor out there. Rather than fall decor or leaf decor, it kind of fits a season rather than a specific holiday. So that could be a possibility too. There's just far less fall decor out there and this lantern stuck out in that category. All right, the second thing that I've thought of is Etsy is controlled by algorithms. So sales depend on whether Etsy serves up your listing or not to buyers. Now, the reason for algorithms is they're trying to match the best customer with the best product that they're more, most likely to buy. That's the way I understand it. All right, number three, 
Another big part of Etsy that you may not realize is that you can pay to advertise on Etsy. And I think in order to stand out, this is kind of critical that you do. Now, I had the same advertising budget, which I believe was $25 a day. That seems like a lot, but you don't pay. That was my max. You don't pay $25 a day. You pay how many times people click on it. So, but the same budget was set. So what that helps do is it helps you rank higher in those, in those algorithms and it helps you rank higher to be in the top of a search category. So there was no difference in the amount of money I was paying um, to advertise these. That's not what drove the traffic. All right, the fourth thing that I thought of is product pictures. Now, if you do any Etsy research and about successful Etsy shops, it is all about staging and taking good photos. And that's not just on Etsy, that's on websites, that's in any kind of advertising. We took a lot of pictures and tried to stage these lanterns the best that we could. And we tried to mimic them, the same settings, trying to get the shadow to cast and that to stand out. I do think that the pictures are better on the leaves for whatever reason, the shape of the leaf and how it casts more light. I think that just looks better than the snowflake. But we retook the pictures and re-uploaded new pictures, new thumbnail pictures to Etsy for the snowflake at least four times and trying to change them out and try to get the best picture to attract people. And we didn't see a change in sales with any of those changes. All right, the fifth thing, I've already talked about it a little bit, but keywords and descriptions. Those are super important on Etsy and maybe we just didn't hit the right search terms. I actually started with the same tags that I had for the leaf lantern, but just changed the words from fall to winter or from, from Thanksgiving to Christmas. And that didn't work at all either. There could be something there and that kind of plays back into the algorithm. I just don't know if we were, I, we weren't ranking high enough in these search results or we weren't, or I didn't use the right ones where people were searching. So I'm really curious to hear what you think the difference is between the two. I don't know if there's any right or wrong answer here, and there may be. If you're an Etsy expert, let me know. I would love I would love to hear from you. But let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, why one was so much more successful than the other. Like I said before, I do see the potential in Etsy, but it definitely isn't a set it and forget it, and I'm just gonna put my items up there and I'm gonna sell. Um, I, there's a lot of work, and the people that are successful on Etsy put a ton of effort into being successful. As we can see from this example, it's hard to know whether an item is going to be successful or not on Etsy. And that's not something that I'm willing to bank my business on. I share more of my product sales strategies in this video right here. So if you're interested in learning more, be sure to check that video out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.